morning children teacher is going to continue the lesson so in the last class what are the things that we learned we learned about the different types of vitamins that are needed for our body we saw which are the different vitamins that is vitamin a b c d e and k and we also learned why these vitamins are needed for our body and also we learned from where we get these vitamins which are the food items that is need that we have to take to get these vitamins inside our body and we also know that these vitamins are very very essential for our body so in that same page i have left i had left out a, a particular thing that is uh, illustration is given on a lady telling that i clean the vegetables cut the vegetables and wash them uh, before i cook so uh, is it good to do that we all know it is not good to do that before cutting the vegetables we have to wash and also when we boil vegetables we have to boil it closing the lid why is it so because we learned that vitamin c is there in uh, all the fruits and vegetables and we also learned that vitamin c dissolves in water so what happens when steam comes out the vitamin c will get dissolved along with the uh, steam and it will go out into the air which is not good so our food will lose vitamin c which is in the vegetables so what must we do we must close the vegetables and fruits if we are cooking them so that the vitamin c is not lost now below that we have another illustration here see in this illustration the doctor is looking at the child isn't it and what is he telling he is telling see your daughter is anemic give a lot of leafy vegetables what is the meaning of anemic have you heard the word anemic sometimes when you go to the doctor you are so tired and you go and your doctor looks at your hands and fingers and tells you that you are anemic what is the meaning of that anemic why is doctor asking the child to take lot of leafy vegetables yes that is the next nutrient what we are going to learn what is the next nutrient it is the mineral content mineral is one of the nutrients that is needed for our body what are minerals minerals we get many of the minerals from under the earth from the water from the sea okay all these minerals are essential for our body so when do we say when we are anemic our body needs certain minerals like iron calcium phosphorus sodium and iodine so when there is less amount of iron in our body then we have less amount of hemoglobin in our body and then we become anemic so here we are going to learn another table here previous class we learned another illustration in this class we are going to learn another table which is given on page number 66 of your textbook so open page number 66 there you can see few minerals are given at the side their uses are given on the side and the food that it comes from the food items from which we get that also is given at the side in three columns can you see the table there yes so take iron the first one is iron what does iron do to our body it helps it helps in the synthesis of hemoglobin in the blood the blood or the red blood cells contains hemoglobin hemoglobin is the amount of red blood cells which is there in our body and the iron content what is there in the food item helps us to get synthesize the hemoglobin which is there in the red blood cells and from where do we get this hemoglobin or where do we get this iron we get it from leafy vegetable seeds of pumpkin horse gram jaggery and liver so leafy vegetables we all know okay amaranthus and all the other leafy vegetables like cabbage and cauliflower or cauliflower is a flower uh, cabbage and all the other whatever leafy vegetables 
like moringa leaves, uh, amaranthus, all these, okay, leaves of pumpkin, uh, leaves of pea, taro leaves, all these are good for the synthesizing iron in our body, for getting iron in our body. Then seeds of pumpkin, pumpkin, you know, some nowadays you are getting seeds of pumpkin as dry fruit. Uh, so seeds of pumpkin is very good. Then horse gram, what is horse gram? Mudira, okay, horse gram. Then jaggery, jaggery is vellum and liver. So liver comes from which all things? We get liver from chicken, beef, mutton, all these things. So liver is very good to, to uh, produce iron in our body. So that is very clear I feel, okay. Next, go to the next one in the table. What is that? We can see there calcium and phosphorus. What is calcium and phosphorus? It is a mineral which is very very essential for our body. So what does calcium do in our body? Calcium helps in the formation of bone and teeth. Okay and for the functioning of the muscles and nerves. We have muscles in our body, we have nerves in our body and bones. So calcium and phosphorus is needed for the growth of bones and teeth and for the formation of muscles and nerves. So calcium we know it is very essential because if there is less calcium in our body we have a tendency of breaking our bones. So to get calcium what are the things we have to eat? What are the things given in the third column? Banana, tapioca, yam, leafy vegetables and milk products. So these are the things that we have to eat if you have to get calcium and phosphorus in our body. Next one is what? Sodium. What is sodium? Sodium is also called as sodium chloride. What is sodium chloride? What we always have in our house, we have the sodium chloride in our house. That is common salt. Okay, another name for common salt, the scientific name is sodium chloride. So sodium is got from common salt. What is common salt? The normal salt which we use in our curry daily. That is called as sodium chloride. Okay, sodium. Why is this common salt needed for our body? We know our body is made up of 70% of water, isn't it? And always this water should be maintained in our body. Otherwise, what will happen? We get dehydrated. So, to maintain this water level in our body, we need salt. Not in high quantity, in low. But in children, when you go to play, you sweat a lot and you lose a lot of water from our body, isn't it? So, in children, uh, it, uh, you have to have salt, uh, take salt so that <clears throat> the water level gets normalized there. So, it retains the water and it is needed in the, which is needed in the body and which we get it from common salt. Next one is iodine. I hope you have heard this word iodine. Iodized salt. Haven't you heard? Yes. What is iodine? Why is iodine needed in our body? Iodine is needed for the proper functioning of the thyroid gland and for mental development. We have a gland called as the thyroid gland which is situated here inside here inside the throat. Okay. This thyroid gland controls all our emotions. So, if anything happens to the thyroid gland, we cannot be mentally stable. Our emotions, our anger, our uh, sadness, our feeling of love and all these are controlled by the thyroid gland. Okay, so to control the thyroid gland, what do we need? We need iodine in our body. So, the iodine content, if it goes up or goes down, it affects the thyroid gland leading to improper mental disorders okay so to control the iodine in our body what should we eat yes, we get iodine from sea so we need to eat lot of seafood means fish all the things what we get from the sea is good in iodine and also though some people are there though those who do not eat fish isn't it how can you stabilize the iodine in our body by using iodized salt Okay, and the head of the fish, usually when mother gives you fish curry, you will not take the head, isn't it? You will take only the tail. So the head of the fish is needed, is good in iodine. 
so we went through the four type four five types of minerals that is iron iron is needed for producing hemoglobin in the blood and it is got from leafy vegetables seeds of pumpkin uh, horse gram jaggery and liver calcium and phosphorus is needed for the formation of bones and teeth and the functioning of muscles and it is got from banana tapioca leaf wee vegetables yam and milk products next sodium is needed to maintain the water balance in our body and it is got from common salt which we use every day next is iodine is needed for the proper functioning of the thyroid gland and also for our mental development and it is got from the sea food and the sea salt so this is what we are learning today it's a very small portion go through the table draw this table in your notebook and below there are two questions the deficiency of which element causes anemia in our body we know deficiency of which mineral that write down then what are the health hazards caused by the lack of leafy vegetables in the diet so if you go through the table the table if you can see if you go through the table you see where all leafy vegetables are needed and find out if leafy vegetables are not there in your diet what all problems you can have take the vitamins also take the minerals also and find out if leafy vegetables are not included in your diet what all health hazards can happen what are the health problems you will go through so okay children today i am taking only this much thank you very much